Junior Motorsports presents the Pre-Race Report. This week, Junior Motorsports races at their home track, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Charlotte is a 1.5 mile quad oval track with 24 degree banking in the turn. Junior Motorsports has earned six top 10 finishes at this track. Charlotte is going to be fun. You know, we got some records on what we did there last time. Thought we ran pretty decent. So uh, we're going to be able to take Josh back there this time and, and run him. And, and, and we'll be able to come out of the truck with some more knowledge. To have that information on hand now for being there once. And uh, we had an open test day there and things like that. So they've got good information and they've had time to review and things like that. If we take what we had last year and, and work on it and incorporate some of the stuff that we've been learning this year, to make our cars better. I think Charlotte could be a really good going for us and we can run really well there. Definitely learned a lot more. Every race you go to, you learn more about the car. So we're learning every time we run this car, we learn a little more, a little more. We're seven post testing every chance we get. Every time we can get on the rig, we're doing that. I think that just adds to our chances that we're gonna have really awesome cars there. Let's go behind the wheel with Eric Almarola. This place is hot and slick during the day. It's black asphalt. It just bakes in the sun, it makes it a nightmare for the crew chiefs. Then nighttime, all the grip comes back when the track cools down. Turn three and four, the corner's just so much tighter than one and two. You wanna run a really wide arc, get down to that white line, make sure you come off the corner on that white line. If you turn in too early, you'll never get it turned. One and two is really, really fast. You know, one of the faster corners we go to on, than on any racetrack. You can really drive in the corner hard. You can carry a lot of speed through there. Then three and four is the exact opposite. It seems like you're putzing through there. But if you try to go faster, you just miss the corner. and It, it really costs you a lot of straightaway speed down the front stretch. Turn three is, is really, really easy to overdrive. Really important to get a good, nice arc into the corner and then just really concentrate on getting your car to, uh, to run around the bottom with as much throttle as you can run. Join us this week as the team takes on the Top Gear 300. <laughs> 